this event will become true, this action will be performed. So you will add one, whatever number of coins you overlap. You will just execute this event and continue. So what happens with the on collision event? You may have noticed that there's a little arrow here. The little and um, there's also a little arrow arrow here. A little arrow here. There's a little arrow if you do something like uh, I don't know on front change, on finished, this one, this one, this one. This little arrow is what is called a trigger. It's trigger, trigger, trigger. The trigger is a special kind of condition which kind of transform the whole, the whole event in something else. The first thing you have to understand with the trigger system is that they get out of the flow of event. I can put this event here, I can put this event elsewhere. The trigger isn't considered in the flow of event. Which means if I do something, let's do something a, bit, a little bit um, uh, stupid, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, so we create a stupid variable. We will change this variable before the trigger. We'll set it to uh, 42, just for the joke. And we will set it to, I don't know, uh, back to zero. And instead of adding one, we will add stupid. I will just copy this one, toggle this off, and we'll add stupid. So if you read the flow of event here, you should add 42. And I honestly never tested that, so I'm not sure what will happen. Let's see. I'm not in the correct level. It started in the level two. So level one. Okay. So this one worked as if it was in the flow of event which confused me a lot. <laughs> ah, still level 2. Okay. So, I'm saying you something wrong. I will destroy the level 2 because it gets on my nerve. Okay, that's interesting. I've never tested it. Anyway. <laughs> Consider in any case that this event isn't in this flow but it's really really weird I've never expected that to work like that but let's uh, move on so to answer the question what, why uh, do this uh, condition I will try to investigate exactly what happens here but the real, pro the real question we, we have here is why here you only add one and here you add more than one. It's because the collision event will be triggered, the condition trigger will be triggered one spare coin. You can even do uh, the reverse thing, coin on collision with player, it will do the same thing. So Usually, if you want to count uh, the well, uh, I won't be able to pronounce it. The reliable, uh, the reliable way, if you want to count your pickups, you should use the collision. 
it can happen that you have your coins like that since your uh, player is a rectangle if you jump you will enter in contact with them at the same time so it's a uh, it's, uh, I think, important to use the collision. But what will I say now? Oh. Uh, yeah, Ashley? Oh, okay. Uh, for other triggers, it should work like, uh, out of the flow. Yeah, yeah. I've seen the the implementation of the collision and I remember comments you wrote in the sprite plugin which exactly says what you just said so okay uh, the collision trigger is a special trigger which is a fake trigger which stay in the flow uh, thank you uh, very much Ashley to, uh, yeah okay the other kind of trigger Fires outside, like the start of layout or the or uh, some mouse event, like uh, mouse uh, add event on click and button release. All that fires outside. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Might be, might be. It's uh, it's com it's confusing indeed. I uh, didn't expect that my uh, my variable, my local variables, uh, were uh, evaluated. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So yeah, if you want to uh, to pick coins, you should either. There's always many ways to do the same thing. I, uh, th as I said last time, the other way to do exactly the same thing would be with the overlapping coins not to add one but to add coins dot pick count it does exactly the same thing in terms of uh, the result you will uh, let's set up like that it will pick both coin like that so you pick your uh, what you prefer between the, the two solutions. Mm. Okay, uh, so that's basically how you pick coins and how you count them. I want to uh, thank uh, one of your. He's uh, not here. It's is uh, uh, the one who asked the question on the on the forum about uh, this uh, very. Uh, this problem he wasn't asking about this problem uh, but it was one of the problem he wrestled uh, with which is uh, this guy doobie doctor uh, 5000 uh, he had uh, such problem with uh, his coin as well and uh, it's uh, it was uh, interesting because uh, I didn't have this example to show you the difference between uh, a trigger and a, and a non-trigger event. We will encounter uh, the difference between the two in the animation uh, se section in, uh, next week. So I will talk again about uh, how triggers uh, work and many how triggers are instantaneous and non-trigger are continuous event. Um, so what will we use? We will use the collision. To go. Okay. Uh, so is is everyone is someone lost in all that? Everyone is okay with what I've covered until now. I will read uh, what has been said. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Just so okay. Uh, peak count is the property of each uh, of every object of any object uh, type maybe some uh, weird object type like uh, function or s 
which call which are called single global uh, don't have the peak uh, count but uh, every object have a peak count every object that can be picked have a peak count uh, property so you can always know how much you picked in an event which is sometimes pretty handy uh, let's see tick, 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 tick. What did they uh, uh, that? Jesus, uh, I wouldn't want that in the memory. Oh, I'm not interested in the memory. Okay, okay. Ouais. Okay. Man. So, uh, yeah. Everyone managed to follow. I see violent cheese uh, had the right answer as well. I'm reading the, the Twitch chat. No problem here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So. Yeah, yeah. For now, uh, the that's the the point I wanted to make that the collision is uh, is triggered for each collision. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, all session tries to be about two hours, so I still have one hours. For uh, and I'm not uh, done. I'm not done just yet. Here we handled pickups, and I wanted to go. So we did this. We did uh, another way to die. I will um, create a new object, which will kill you on collision this new object for this new object I will use the tile background um, and I will uh, create a texture about uh, let's say in width let's say 8 in height let's say this okay I will draw something vicious oh smooth let's stay in the pixel art world ok here and we'll put some tiny bits of blood it will be pretty nasty it's not final art it's uh, fast uh, fast art <laughs> and uh, my uh, snapping is uh, against me here to solution I change the snapping or I change the size of the sprite and I want I will change the size height will be 32 and I will put that on the button okay uh, oh, I maybe shouldn't do that. I think the collision will be on all that. Uh, so I will revert back. Control Z works well for that. And I will choose my other solution, which is changing the grid spacing. Okay, so here I have a bunch of spikes. Nasty spikes. I will put my coins here and put some spikes here what happens when we touch a spike we die here is our first way to die first dumb way to die there's a reference here here our second dumb way to die is by 
hugging some spikes. So how do we die like that?